Okay, so Kurt Cobain Jaguar. So comes with a hard case. Um, this one's used. Um, brand new. These cost about one thousand three hundred and fifty pounds. Um, you can pick these up used for under a thousand pounds. They all come with sort of a Fender hard case. So I'm gonna take it out the uh, case. So this is the Cabane Jaguar. It's based on a '65 sort of pawn shop buy. So you've got Damasio DP103 PAF in the neck position, in the bridge position. You've got DP100 Super Distortion Damasio pickup. Um, you've got three ply pick guard and tortoise uh, top. Is your rhythm circuit so you've got uh, volume tone control that's just your neck pickup put it into the lead circuit and this is where Cobain's one was slightly modified so you've got a three-way toggle switch so top is a neck middle both bottom just a bridge on its own uh, which Cobain sort of used I believe um, controls you've got master volume for the neck pickup master volume for the bridge pickup and a Master tone for both, so yeah, uh, it's got your standard Jaguar vibrato. There is the arm in here, that's the arm you get with it, so that's all sort of set up. Um, I believe he had his hardtail cabane, so uh, there's a little mod you can do you stick a washer in, lock the tremolo in, stuff like that. But um, yeah, onto the neck, it's 22 frets, rosewood fingerboard. It's got binding around the back of the neck. Oh, sorry, around the side of the neck, should I say? Um, medium jumbo frets. It's got the spaghetti logo. Um, these have got the Goto tuners, um, which Cabane had modern ears because they would have come with vintage tuners originally. So yeah, this is a Mexico 2015 model. So you've got the glossy back neck with obviously the binding on the side there. Um, it's even got a little Fender logo on the back plate there that Kurt Cobain designed. So this is in three tone sunburst, really nice finish to it. Um, also, it's got the Gotto uh, adjustomatic bridge, uh, sort of in a black colour there. I don't know where you can see that, but yeah, that was a sort of mod Cobain always done on his guitars with stick a tunematic bridge on and modern style tuners but yeah it's a really nice guitar um, it's got a bit of weight to it this one come with the strap that Cobain sort of used a few times there's a few pictures of that but yeah really nice looking guitar um, again these ain't cheap but they do feel really good the Mexican made really nice looking guitar and a free tone sunburst um, again you can pick these up between Sort of 800 to 1,000 pound used, brand new. Again, they're about 1,350 at the minute. That obviously comes with a hard case. So, um, in the hard case, you also get obviously all the hang tags and manuals and all that stuff. Um, the tremolo arm. And you also get a Cobain booklet. Um, I've looked at these before. I haven't looked at this one. It's been opened. So, yeah, there's all. I think there's a lot of stuff written by Ernie Bailey, which was Cobain's guitar tech. So those are pictures and stuff in there, and talks about this guitar in particular. Yeah, for the collector, this is definitely a guitar worth getting. Um, I don't say a lot about the specs of the guitar, but there's pictures of the Jaguar there. Yeah, really cool guitar. There's Cobain's one. Obviously, his was left-handed. And I believe it was originally one of Cliff Richard's guitarist guitar, but it ended up in LA and uh, Cobain bought it. So there is a video on YouTube with some guy from Cliff Richard's band playing in, um, I can't remember where it was now. Yeah, you have a look on YouTube and there's videos of that guitar getting played in the early 80s, so before Cobain had it. So. Um, 
Yeah, I'm going to plug it in now. Let's see what sort of sounds I can get. Um, I'm going to play a mixture of clean distorted through the middle neck and bridge position. Um, obviously, Cobain sort of just had this taped off, had that taped off, and he sort of played it in the bridge position. So, but yeah, I'll just try it in all the three different pickups. I've, I have reviewed one of these before, but I just did. Um, just played it in the bridge position, so I'll try it in all three different positions today and see what it sounds like. I'm going to be using the Boss Gitana. Um, I'm going to set that just on clean with a little bit of reverb and just do the rest through uh, pedals. So let's plug her in and see what she sounds like. Okay, so I've got it all plugged in. Um, again, I'm just going to be using the Boss Gitana. Um, I've got this tuned down half a step, so um, I'm going to play a bit of clean, a bit of distorted. I'm going to be using a Boss DS2 for the distortion, the turbo distortion. Okay, so this is the neck pickup playing clean. So both pick up the <laughs>
the Kurt Cobain 65 Jaguar. Um, great guitar. Obviously, if you're a Kurt Cobain fan and you've got the money, you need one of these because this is a proper collector's item. Um, they're still selling them now. They've done them for a few years. I'm not sure how long they're going to still do them for. Obviously, I'm not sure what's going to happen with the rosewood fingerboards on these. So, um, yeah, they're going to get, I suppose, get a bit rarer as time goes by. But, yeah, really nice guitar. Again, based on Cobain's 65 Jaguar with the modified sort of tuners. Uh, it's got the the wrong logo for the year. Um, modified pickups, it's got the Dimasios, uh, the Tunematic, Goto Bridge and the, the sort of custom made tone controls and wiring. But yeah, really nice guitar. Let me know in the comments section below what you think of the guitar. Obviously it all comes with a hard case and a collector's book. So yeah, like the video, subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.